What's up, YouTube? It's your boy. I'm everyone's boy, the Tiki Moss. Today, I'm doing the 2016 TLC review, man. Let me start by saying, man, this pay per view, this pay per view is big, man. A lot of people was thinking it wasn't gonna be that good, man, but TLC slash SmackDown prove y'all wrong, man. But before I get into that video, man, I gotta, I'm starting these fantasy matches, man. I got Hulk Hogan versus Stone Cold Steve Austin is my first fantasy match. That video will be in the link the, um, below. And if you guys like it, just comment below and tell me if you guys liked it and, and um, subscribe. And tell me what other fancy match you guys want to see so, so I can know if I want to keep doing this series, man. But let's get into the video, man. First match, man. We got Rhino and Heath Slater, the tag team champions, man. Versus Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt, bro. Coming to this match, man, I... I just had Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt winning this match because um just just like on paper on paper this this tag team is dangerous. They don't have the best chemistry, but on paper these, these this is deadly, man. And last they beat American Alpha, so they are they are who we thought they were, man. But right now he's slated, man. They'll just just I mean this they're good tag team, but just talent wise, I mean. Then no match for Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt, 12 time champion. You got Bray Wyatt, Eaters of the World. Right now, he's later. It's just it's a, a Cinderella story, man. I appreciate them. They did good stuff, but there was no match for him. Randy Orton just, and Bray, they just dominated the whole match, really. Beat on that boy, Heath Slater, man. He tried to get in on Randy, but it wasn't working. But the thing I like about this at the end, like at the end when he won the tag team championships and, and stuff like that. What's his name? Like Bray Wyatt, he puts the title on Luke Harper, and then Randy Orton gets it, looks at him, he's looking at him like, and then he puts the title on on, on Luke Harper. That was hilarious, man. Like that was that was funny, man. But let's go to that next match. We got Nikki Bella versus Carmella, man. Nikki Bella picked up the W with the uh, with her Rock Attack 2.0. This match, it was a good match. Like I mean, I can understand them not. Want to get too physical? Too physical? You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like a crazy physical match, but um, I liked it. I liked the tactics used. I like Nikki Bella getting the fire extinguisher and just spraying a Carmella. I like that, man. And I appreciate the, the real the realism in this um rivalry, man. How Carmella's talking about Nikki Bella. Oh, you just doing this so and so because your man John Cena. I like that realism, man. The more realer it is, the more the fans will want to see a match like that or try to rebrand in their mind okay these two women really hate each other so we're gonna really pay attention to this match so i appreciate that from both of them man because you can tell carmella got she, she had a black guy nikki had a teeth um chop um chip like a couple of weeks ago so i appreciate the intense rivalry from these these two women man they had a good match i enjoyed it I enjoyed the end too about her about carmella saying oh natalia is the one who hit you not me so that's another potential storyline. Let's see where that goes. Let's see where that goes after that, man. But next, this man, this match right here. There's so many good matches on the card. I mean, the Miz and Dolph Ziggler, man. They you could say they had the best match. Ah, oh, oh, you could say that. But we go into this match next. The Miz, man, got the W. The guys just. He's just the best heel in WWE. Ooh, ah, I will put over Charlotte. I will put off him, her, him. I will put the men's over Charlotte. You know, man. But this Dolph Ziggler, man, he just out here just selling his butt off like he always do, still in the show. Freaking Dolph Ziggler. You know, the guy is, guy is amazing. You know, the, the DDT from the ladder, the DDT on the ladder from Dolph Ziggler, that was a good spot. I like that. You know, the Miz is just getting beat up. The Miz, and then the Miz being smart, working Dolph Ziggler's knee. He's working that knee for a reason. Because you can't climb, it's hard to climb a ladder with your knee hurt. We saw Dolph Ziggler, he was climbing it with one, he was climbing it with one leg. Just imagine when he was climbing it when, when the Miz was out. Climbing it with two, two, two healthy knees, Dolph Ziggler could potentially win that championship back. But the Miz being a smart, veteran that he is man working on that knee so Dolph Ziggler only had one knee to use man and then the Miz hit him with that low bro at the end to win knocked his butt off that mug grabbed the title the Miz retains the championship great match appreciate the Miz and Dolph Ziggler going out here 
going 100%, man. Just selling, using, using ladders, using ladders as weapons. That was amazing. And I was, I was just shocked. I'm thinking like, I'm, I'm like, the man's gonna win. He's gonna win. Maurice is gonna do something. Maurice is gonna do something. She's a wild card in this match. She didn't do anything. So that, that really got me. That, I was just like, boy, I'm just waiting for Maurice. But man, she, she stayed back. And I'm, 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 I'm shocked and I'm, it's crazy, man. But shout out to those two, man. The man, the, the rivalry is over. Rivalry is over. Let's see where the um, where what's what's next, man. But kudos. Next match: Baron Corbin versus Kalisto in a ladder match. I mean, a chair match. This match was, bro. This match they put up. I don't think a lot of people were expecting this match to be this good, man. But Baron Corbin proving he can work with anybody. Kalisto. High flyer could work his butt off, sell his butt off. Got Baron Corbin out here just, and it was realistic, man. Cause I mean, realistically, with chairs, using chairs, Kalista put up a realistic fight, bro. You know, he was moving around, duck, ducking, diving, moving around. Baron Corbin trying his best, using them um, chairs to take his knees out, take his back out, and then he hit, he um he hit him like with a. In the face with the chair, like with a kick. I want to say a Van Daminator, but it was something uh, I can't really remember. It was something like that, though, man. But but then Kalisto, he did like a like a leg drop on his chest, on them chairs, bro. Bro, I man, I was thinking it was one, two, three. Like, bro, I thought I thought that was gonna be it, man, because I was clean. It was like four, ten, twelve chairs on the in the middle of the ring. This boy Baron, Baron Corbin just boom falls back. I'm thinking that's it. But man, he kicked out on that mug. But then after that, Baron Corbin just finished him with the end of days on the chair. That, like, th this was a match, bro. And then outside the ring, when he got his shirt, and he was just like slugging him around against the barricade. He was getting his elbows, just hitting them, hitting them, hitting them. Just talk about a good physical match, man. This is another reason why TLC was a great pay per view. Man, maybe. One of the best of the year. Uh, maybe I gotta think about a lot of people's views, but this great match. That was, you could say this is probably the second best match of the night. I mean, I wouldn't be mad. You could have. Same with this match we're about to say now. Becky Lynch versus Alexa Bliss. Talk about a come out party for Alexa, man. I was I did not expect Alexa Bliss to be Becky Lynch. I thought Becky Lynch was came out here focused. She focused. She mad. She got put through the table on SmackDown. She coming out with Avengers, man. But man, she was beat on. She was beating on this girl Alexa Bliss, man. But Alexa Bliss, she just, just keep in mind you gotta put your opponent to the table. Alexa Bliss, and that's what she did. Caught, caught, caught Becky slipping. She was on the top rope. Alexa Bliss was down. You know what I'm saying? Out of nowhere, she just power bombed her through the table. Like this match here is. It's never a guarantee. The, the favorite, the favorite would not always win a table table match, man. Cause with these tables, man, it, any, anything can happen. You can slip through a table. Anything can happen. And don't forget that that DDT that Alexa Bliss did on um Becky Lynch on that table. That was pretty cool. Like when the table was just flat, and she did it on the back of the table. That was cool. I like that. But congratulations to Alexa Bliss. I like it. I like Alexa Bliss. She's cool. She she's a good heel. You know what I mean? She she's entertaining. You know, I like her special, like, she got, it's kind of like a, a cartwheel back, not backflip, but like a cartwheel type of backflip kind of. It was special, it was cool, man. But I appreciate Alexa Bliss winning that championship. Her, her parents is there, so that's a good thing for her, her family. So kudos to Alexa, man. But, hey, Becky, Becky Lynch is coming. She, she wants that championship. She's the first SmackDown women overall pick she she will get that title back i guarantee that I, i'm just telling you that I, next the last match in the best match why am, why am i not surprised aj styles versus dean ambrose aj styles for this guy here this man steals a show each and every night man talk about a guy who just goes out here Oh, bro, did, I know y'all saw that 450 splash from the top rope to the table. Ooh, bro, I was, man, I jumped, man, I jumped out of my, out of my bed. I was, man, 
450 off the off the top rope through the table? Are you kidding me? Like, bro, that was sick, man. And then Dean Ambrose coming out here just being a lunatic that he is, man. Oh my God, this match was this match was great, bro. And then Hellsworth. I was like, because I was like, Dean Ambrose about to win it. I saw him climbing up the ladder. I was like, Dean, Dean won it. I was like, whoa, Dean is about to win this championship. I'm like, what? I thought he just thought I was going to beat on this boy, Dean Ambrose. And he did beat on this boy, Dean Ambrose. But I was like, he's about to win it. And then out of nowhere, Ellsworth knocked him off the, the freaking ladder, through the tables outside. I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like, Ellsworth, bro, without Dean Ambrose, you're not in the WWE. He got you that contract. He got you that contract. Sure, you super kicked AJ Styles and he got his his leg got tripped up in the ropes. I understand that, man. But Dean Ambrose, this man, this this guy did all this for you, bruh. Y'all was cool. Y'all was on ESPN, man. Y'all were buddies. And the thing is, I think I think Ellsworth actually believes he can be AJ Styles one on one without Dean Ambrose. Are, are you kidding me, bro? Like, come on, man. Ellsworth in the end, you just got to have respect, man, for what Dean Ambrose did for you. But I guess, I mean, if he actually believes he's going to beat AJ Styles, fine. Come for come come Tuesday night, one-on-one. -on -one, let's see what you do against, against AJ Styles, um, Ellsworth. You know, you want to betray your buddy, the man who did all this stuff for you. Want to do that, Ellsworth? Fine. All right. Cool, man, but in the end, this pay-per-view was off the charts, bro. And and I got to give it, uh, every match on here was entertaining to me. Like, I, I was entertained by every single match on this card, man. I got I to gotta give it a nine, bro. I got to give it a nine. I got to give it a nine, man. This match was, I mean, I, I was entertained. I'm not saying every match was on here was perfect, but, like, every match on here was, like, I, I wasn't bored, bro. Like, Every match on here, it, it meant something, bro. You can go back to Baron Corbin, Kalisto. Like, freaking Baron Corbin was supposed to be on that Survivor Series team, but Kalisto freaked up his, like, messed up his knee. So he was mad about that. You got Becky and Alexa, who's right. They, they've been low-key, been, they've been doing some good stuff, man. Especially Glasgow. Alexa Bliss could have possibly won in Glasgow, but her feet was under the ropes, but the ref didn't see her. Like, each and every match meant something, bro. Like storyline to it, like I'm I'm entertained by all of this stuff, bro. Like I, the probably the worst match on here was probably probably Nikki's, but I enjoyed it, man. But man, that's why SmackDown is the truth, man. It's the truth, and I appreciate it. But in the end, man, until until then, I'm your boy. I'm everyone's boy. The Tiki Moss in the final. I give TLC a nine. I'm your boy. I'm everyone's boy. Peace, baby. Oh.